I hope you people had a good weekend and that you began your week on a good note. <laughs> it's Monday. Sure. It started. It just started. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you for coming. Brilliant minds in our studio this morning just to try and understand, you know, it, delve into a deeper part of the story that make the headlines and of course what we expect to shape the political arena this week. Let's begin with the front page of the standard and it is moment of glory for Rambisters. And I don't know whether they won the game because the government said we're giving you 50 million shillings <laughs> or is it because we really wanted to qualify for the African Cup of Nations? I, th I think uh, when the bar is too low, then your glory is very basic. This is very basic glory. <laughs> Are you trying to say? <laughs> Actually, ordinarily, this is, there's nothing to celebrate. They have not won the cup. They have not won anything. It's just that they have defeated some teams after 14 <laughs> years. So be we are kind, saying hallelujah. Be kind Otherwise, to our brothers. This is a kind of headline which should be if you have gotten the African Cup of Nations, we have gotten the World Cup, we have gotten a major cup. You have a cup coming into the country. But here, we just got the Ethiopians, we defeated them. But because we have not been defeating people, <laughs> then we say now hallelujah, we have done well. Aren't we, our are it we smelling the victory? There is no victory. <laughs> we are smelling <laughs> the <laughs> They are hoping, we, smelling we are victory. praying that oh Sierra Leone, if they are suspended, mm -hmm. then we will now actually go into the tournament. Our prayer is just to go to the tournament. Our prayer is not the cup. Uh -huh. Because the bar is so low. I think from here we should be saying which one is our bar. We should, we should be talking about the cup. There were days when the, uh, Gormaya would bring Mandela Cup here. Uh, Arambesas would bring Eastern Central Cup. There would be cups. But these ones are just because we have won. And, 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 and I, I saw the headline and I say, God, we have deteriorated so much when we have the likes of Wario and all these charlatans managing football. Then you know that uh, we are in real trouble. So we okay. I congratulate them in our difficulties. We must uh -huh. congratulate our boys uh -huh. for doing a good job in the circumstances. But let us aim for the cup itself, okay, which is still a long way. <laughs> you know, there you're saying it's still a long way. It looks like it's, it, it's going to happen next year. I will understand the way they're, they're going around and jumping. Mr. Wanda, do you agree with what Mr. Wanda is saying? Because for me, when I watched the game yesterday, I was like, finally, we are, no. we are heading there. <laughs> you know, uh, sometimes I don't like Mr. Wanda to talk before me. <laughs> Because he brings theater <laughs> into the whole thing. And, and sometimes it can confuse the way you think, you know? And, and uh, this particular one, I think I, think I will buy his theatric. <laughs> Why would you want to buy it? I mean, the boys, the boys performed very no. well. And owing to the fact that this game was being played at a time when some of them had not received their lances. I totally agree that this was a very, very good performance as far as our Kenyan way of looking at things. And I agree with Mr. Wilder. I think with Bai Solo, that when we win one match, we are almost hitting the roof. And I think there were a lot in stake here. For example, there was a 50 million that has actually been scandalized out there, but was promised. We want to see that 50 million come out. Let me tell you, coming from a no allowance to somebody promising you 50 million, the deputy president said that, and then he's also, he also talked about Arambe stars getting a bus. Can you imagine a national team without a bus? And so, so, so when what is you, this bar that, that both of you are talking about? Because Mr. Eda says uh, the bar is too low, we need to set a higher bar. What, what is this bar that we're totally talking about? I totally agree with you that we haven't gone to African Cup of Nations in 14 years. And that, that to me is something. I mean, Kenya, we are probably the third in terms of economic volume in Africa for your information. We are doing better than those countries that, like Mali and many other countries that goes to even World Cup, we are mm -hmm. better than them economically. Okay. But because we are so disorganized on how we want to support our, our athletes, mm -hmm. how we want to support our sports in this country, mm -hmm. that you, you have some mediocre leaders uh, leading uh, the sports in this country uh, that, that are so much interested in stealing and going to watch World Cup in, in, uh, in, uh, in Russia than, than putting money where it belongs. And even if that money is put there, there's no allowance. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember <laughs> that there were people in this country that even refused to give players uniform 
They kept the uniform in their houses. Now yeah, that's we, the we kind will, of leaders we're we will get. We will get right there. But as far as, as this one is concerned, uh -huh. I think I want to celebrate with Kenyans who uh -huh. went there in big numbers. Let me tell you, I registered about 10 buses from Mombasa coming to, uh, you know, Kasarani. And so many other people came to Kasarani. To me, that is a way of trying to say we can revive sport in this country. We can revive the interest. And many people mm -hmm. went over there. And when, when they went over there, they could not even accept, access our stadium. And the question is, what about sport and the stadia that we were, we were promised in every county? Okay. In fact, if you look at this, it should open a Pandora box of discussion of the things uh, not doing well in the country, but also the things that need to be done for our sports to really move forward. And okay. so this is a good start for a good Okay, direction. Mr. Okwali. Uh, thank you very much. I think uh, uh, Mr. Wade has started the show in a very lighter mode. And uh, just to maybe congratulate, I just want to congratulate our boys. Uh -huh. They did uh, splendidly well, mm -hmm. uh, considering the difficulties they had. We have just talked about uh, allowances. And uh, uh, the performance, the winning, is just a win, eh? regardless of the whom you are competing with. And, uh, you know, it improves our standards and ratings uh, within the FIFA. At least if we continue performing like that, and um, uh, we are going to have so many of our boys uh, going and, uh, you know, playing in other European uh, football clubs. And uh, you talked about whether the motivation of 50 million was uh, one of the things that uh, made these boys win. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think Kenya now, people are so much concerned about what they will put on the table. And uh, doubling uh, 50 million is uh, such a huge, <laughs> a huge, uh, you know. Uh, so are you trying to say of, the win was because of the 50 million? Uh, the the promises promise. and the motivation and, you know, the crowd going to the stadium uh -huh. and, you know, having the gates open for everybody. I think the motivation was uh, very high and okay. uh, uh, there are people who are there to support the team. Okay. And uh, I just feel okay. that uh, the performance was good. Let's congratulate them. Uh -huh. On, in terms of uh, corruption, mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, in the beginning we, so many people underrated the current CS honorable mm -hmm. Rashida. Just, just hold on to that oh. though, because I'm getting right there now because I'm yeah. just to tie today's game with uh, the corruption scandal at yeah. the ministry this and explain what glory is. Okay, as, 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 you, as, you, as you will explain yeah. that, Mr. Yes. Weda, <laughs> because it looks like you're not even celebrating <laughs> this. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I, at some point I feel like asking you, <laughs> are, you <laughs> are you really for Team Harambee stars? <laughs> now, let me tell you. So as, you, as you're giving us your thought on yes. that moment of glory, yes. Let's tie it together with corruption yes, within yeah. the ministry and envoys to be replaced over indictment. In the yes. 55 million shillings, Hassan Wario was cleared by members of parliament, yet um, embezzlement of funds yes. happened during, that, during his tenure in the office. Did members of parliament see this before clearing him? It begs the question. Yes, now I'll, I'll answer that. L let me tell you, glory means full weight. In Hebrew, it's called kabod. God created everything for his glory. And he does not share his glory with anybody. Each one of us, the ultimate you can do is to reveal your glory, to reveal your full weight. You sparkle as a creation. Mm -hmm. Now, in that background, when you just qualify, <laughs> there's no glory. Do you understand that? Have but let me, <laughs> let me, let me, let me go to Wario. The clearance of Wario. Exactly, Let's go to clearance exactly. of Wario. Now, get it that when the president appoints you in a parliament co uh, controlled by the president's party, you will be cleared. Not because you are dirty or clean, but because the president has said so. You need just a miracle to be prevented. So it's not a question of these things are going on and so on and so forth. Even when they were being appointed to be ambassadors or whatever, mm -hmm. they had undertaken and executed the circus, the Olympic circus. Mm -hmm. It was there. In fact, at that time, they thought the people will be arrested and so on and so forth. But political expediency at that time, people needed votes and so on and so forth. You would not attack, attack or touch the likes of Wario. But what they did... It was such a serious circus, mm -hmm. a sick joke, mm -hmm. 
where even the runners, the, the, the athletes, they are given wrong water. The wrong water. And you see, the, 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 the water you are given determines the energy, and then they lost. You get it? Some <laughs> of them, even the, even the uniforms, some of them saw the uniforms are so beautiful, they hoarded them. Okay, you Mr. Gwanda. So all this was it within the knowledge of the president, uh -huh. within the knowledge of parliament. But were you still cleared? Because it was expedient to do okay. so, and so. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Gwanda, does it does it question? I mean, it, it really questions the sort of work that um, parliamentary committees do when it comes to clearance of these uh, uh, nominees. Um, what happens in parliament, especially when the president presents names after nominating those names? What up? happens is basically parliamentarians, whatever committee they are going to, they're supposed to be a little background check and maybe NIS is supposed to do his work and then the DCI is supposed to do the, this work and then they need to forward those information to that committee that will be interviewing that are very individual and in this case it is foreign uh, affairs committee. And then what happens in that case is there, if they are there's anybody out there that is supposed to uh, perhaps knows a little bit more about this individual that they think that maybe chapter six is not met and in this case this person does not deserve this position mm -hmm. they're supposed to submit those information to that committee so that that committee will be able to ask that individual the very very questions that have been uh, put out before okay. them but the truth of the matter is when the president presents those named to a parliamentary committee for approval it is never about their background checkup, but it's about does the president want this guy or not. We know very well that Wario was involved in the skirmishes of scandals mm -hmm. that took place. Money was lost, and okay. I think there was a general agreement even within his office that money was lost. Mm -hmm. And I think an investigation was initiated, but remember, we had a moribund uh, DPP at that particular time and that did not care about anything will go before him. If mm -hmm. you brought him any case and he thinks that you're a president man or you are so powerful, that thing will be put under the rug. We okay. are having a new dispensation mm -hmm. of a DPP that is coming in and saying, look, there's a problem. Money was stolen here. Why were people not prosecuted or even arrested? Mm -hmm. But look at the situation. You want to blame entirely the people surrounding the president because okay. they recommended Wario even though he was having issues. And even Professor Wakungu, they are both um, uh, representing us in different countries today. Okay. And remember, we are being represented by people who had the scandals within their ministry. And today, they are heading us in those particular places where we are regarded very highly. Can okay. you imagine a situation where our ambassador has been taken to court and he goes sit back and is called his Excell excellency in that particular okay, country. Okay, so Mr. Kwali, just before we release our audience in our viewers, rather, uh, the KTN home, just in a minute, like, wh what do we expect to play out now? Yeah. That Hassan, do we expect to, to see some sort of the presidential protection? Uh, I don't think if the president is going to weigh in on this matter, because we have seen even in the past, we have uh, Deputy CJ in court, and uh, the president actually once supports the judicial process. And uh, just to mention that the Minister of um, Sports has been managed for quite too long, and I think, uh, you know, as a country, we have never taken sports as a profession. We just take sports as a form of entertainment, as a, and, you know, so giving uh, leeway for people to loot and, you know, just run away with that money. Uh -huh. But I think what the, uh, the DPP is doing at the moment is something that needs to be supported. And I feel the president should withdraw his hands in the end of these uh, uh, corruption issues so that mm -hmm. uh, we let the wheels of justice take uh, their course. Okay, as we let the wheels of justice take its course, we also want to release our views on Kate and home uh, because they need to continue the life and style. But for more discussion, keep it Kate and you. We're taking a short commercial break. We shall be right back.